Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Walking in from this way. Oh, what's up, guys? Hold on. Oh. What's up, guys? And um, welcome back to another video. And um, yeah, it's it's raining outside, so if you hear something in the background, it's the rain. But other than that, the gloominess is giving off a good vibe, making the room look a little darker. I got the lights on in the back, and this lights right here on me. It's, it's a nice little vibe, you know what I'm saying? But for today's video, um, after yesterday's video when I trashed my speakers, I was like, there's someone out there who wants to start doing music or start making beats or something like that, but they don't know where to start, maybe. And there's a lot of videos on YouTube, but I'm gonna try to make this as entertaining and as short and let, and try to save y'all some money so you don't go buy some stuff that you don't need. And um, yeah, we're gonna start off. First you need, you can't do none of this without a computer, a desktop, a laptop of some sort. You can get, uh, you can use the laptop you have at home. You can use your dad's, your mom's laptop if they let you, or a desktop or anything. Um, all that I say is, um, if you can, if you have the money, get a good quality laptop. Uh, make sure it has good, a good CPU. Like look up some good CPUs just in case, because sometimes the plugins will wreck your CPU. I'm gonna be honest. Next, you need a microphone. Now honestly, these are the like, requires, requirements of doing a studio or type that, or type of thing like that. A laptop, a microphone, and some headphones. So the microphone I use, which is a USB microphone, you could get an XLR microphone, and the XLR microphone is basically a microphone that plugs into an audio interface instead of plugging in straight to the computer. So this blue snowball, ice, no it's not an ice, but the blue snowball and the ice are basically the same mic, but I'm pretty sure the, the normal one that's not ice probably has better sound quality. I don't have an ice. I did, but I gave it away to a friend. So this is what the blue snowball looks like. It's a nice quality mic. You can get this from Target, Best Buy, Amazon for $49 which is a good price, $50 for a mic. And mainly it's used for Skype calls, Discord, streaming, video games, uh, voice chat, whatever. But it's a nice quality mic, I believe. Next, oh, but it plugs in, as you can see, it plugs straight into, it's a USB, so it plugs straight into the laptop. On the computer. Next, since we got this, this is also a requirement, because you need this. A pop filter. This catches all of those plosives and those hard buh or buh sounds that you pronounce when speaking or rapping or doing voiceovers. Like, like a, you can do push P, but I'll emphasize that, <laughs> that it'll emphasize that. Have a mic. Um, have a pop filter, and you put it into the um, audio workstation. It can take that to a just by catching it, because this little seal, somehow, I don't know the science behind it, it just catches those hard enunciations like that. Next, you would need some headphones. These are required. You're not required to have speakers. Speakers are just to hear out loud. You can always play it off at a laptop speakers. Some producers, rather you try to make it sound better, sound good on laptop speakers and phone speakers, because most times, if you got it sounding good over there, it'll sound great over a speaker in a party or in a car or whatever. You can use your car speakers to mix your songs or mix your beats or whatever. But headphones are required because you mainly want to be in there. I recommend getting studio headphones like these or some audio, some bass uh, audio technicals are going to cost you $50. Like these were $50. These are some nice headphones. I had these for like two years now. And it doesn't it doesn't equalize the uh, sound. It just puts dead sound in there. And when I say it doesn't equalize it or put dead sound, it's, prop it's giving you the audio as no changes was made to it. Like beats, I would recommend recording or mixing or making beats with the beats on because they equalize it to be louder and you don't really want that. Next on my list, because I wrote all this stuff down, 
is this isn't a requirement. We got all the stuff that you need out of the way, like the mic, the laptop, and the um, headphones. A mic stand. This is a Rockville mic stand that I got for almost $100. It was $99.95 off of Amazon. And it's a good quality, sturdy mic stand. I have it low, so because I like the accord sitting down. I'm more comfortable recording sitting down and stuff like that. Um, you could stand it up or you can lower it or you can get a mic stand that just connects to the desk and it's like a little crane that like mostly you see streamers use. Those are good too, but it's not a requir requirement. Whatever you can get, you can get. Um, next, this is, uh, what would be next? So we covered the mic, we covered the head, the, we covered the laptop, the mic, pop filter, headphones. Don't necessarily need speakers. If you do want speakers, I would recommend the speakers that I trashed yesterday, because they are good speakers. I just fucked them up from whatever I did. I did something to them, because those speakers were amazing. Um, those are $100 off of Amazon. I'll put a link for those in the description also. Um, next, you would need a DAW, a digital audio workstation like FL, stu FL Studios, uh, Ableton, Logic, Pro X, Pro Tools, Cubase, Reason. There's more, I'm pretty sure. I can't think of it, but um, there's more. I use Ableton and I've, I have used Ableton, Pro Tools, FL Studio, and Logic before, and I like them. I love them all, but right now I'm sticking to Ableton. But uh, the first dot I ever use is FL Studio, that I'll also forever be like the one I got started making beats and doing music in. But um, yeah. Now DAWs, they cost. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, they cost. Like the the if you want the the flat like the the one that comes with everything in it that you need. It's probably gonna cost you like $300, $400 for all of these versions. Except Logic, I think the Logic only has one version. It's like either $299, $300 or $200. Either way, $200 to $400 you'll be spending on these. I think Pro Tools is a subscription, but if you join the Discord, I can get you FL, Ableton, Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase reason for free. Whatever you preference on using. Completely free. If you want plugins like Waves, Fab Filter, um was it Sound Toys? Whatever. Autotune? Ontario's Autotune? I can get you that for free. Join the Discord. You wanna learn how to make beats? I'll do beat parties and I'll show you the step by steps of making beats. Join the Discord. Tell me what you want. We can do it. I'm down forever. I'm gonna start streaming soon. We're gonna be on YouTube streaming, Twitch streaming. We're gonna be getting it on. We we out shit. We doing it. We doing it. We doing it. For real. But that's it for today's video. I just wanted to do this because I know it's someone out there who probably wants to start music or start streaming or do anything but don't know what they might need. Laptop, mic, headphones and a DAW, unless you're recording uh, Audacity, which is free, which is like the, every like SoundCloud rapper do, or anybody who's ever started music he has had Audacity, because it's free, and you can mix vocals, and you can just drag a beat in for YouTube. But if you don't want to be rapping on YouTube beats, and you want to make your own beats, so you ain't got to pay for no license, once your song blow up and get sued, make your own beats, and I can show you how to do that. Just join the Discord. But, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.